when we're taking something inhalation versus taking something orally, you, you are getting the, the hydrogen differently. When you drink it, you're going to go through the stomach and into the intestines and, and onto the blood. Versus when you inhale it, it goes directly to the, through the lungs and into the bloodstream. Well, there was an article published in, uh, in, in Nature, uh, World Nature Publishing Journal, but uh, out of Kyushu University, a doctor Noda uh, found that the drinking of hydrogen-rich water could actually enact a neuroprotective gastric ghrelin secretion. And ghrelin is very neuroprotective, it has some anti-inflammatory benefits and, and many others, but the drinking of hydrogen -rich water could in, in, induce that ex secretion of ghrelin. And you, maybe you don't get as much of that ghrelin levels when you are inhaled the gas. And so by di this different route of administration and by this intermittent exposure, we're starting to understand better why the different effects of hydrogen in, in different diseases.